So recently in Benelord we had done a bunch of trading between Zeonica and Boros. And we have amassed quite a bit of horses. So, I am thinking we shall venture out further into the land and find some better trade routes and try to crack 10k this, this time. First of all, let's head up north. We'll head to Rote. And hopefully we'll find something good up there. And we've run into some looters. 13 of them. Let's run them down. Because now with our horses, we can run down anything pretty much. And here we go with our big army. Charge! Charge! <laughs> Damage one. It's two. Crap. He's down. And he's down. I got a few kills there. So I got four kills there, apparently. So we've captured three looters, so we'll chuck them in. And we'll upgrade our Imperial Recruit. So we've got trained infantry, infantrymen, and then just crappy old recruits. And then our special archers as well, which will hopefully level up soon. So we can get crossbowmen or Imperial veteran archers. And we've also collected quite a bit of random clothing from them, and some olives. Let's just take it all and sell it off. Okay, so that netted us 126. Now let's look at what we can buy to sell at other places. So grain is relatively cheap here, so we'll pay 744 for that, buy the grain and hopefully find somewhere that we can sell it for more. I think what we really need to do is just figure out what sells where the best, because I think you have to have been to places to be able to find out what they sell for. So we'll also ransom our prisoners and recruit another troop. So now let's head off to Amitatius. So grain still sells only for 10 here. What else is there around here? Because we can always sell it back for 10. So oil sells at Poros for 102. But it is pretty far. Tools so sell at Zeonica for quite a price. So we'll sell off some grain. And buy some tools to sell at Zeonica. So we're paying 88 for tools and we'll be able to sell them for 110. We should make profit. So back to Zeonica. And unfortunately I could not pay my wages, so morale has gone down. That is not good. Ooh, there's a lord we can talk to. Let's talk to them. So hopefully we can learn more about that quest. So he is Garius, rightful emperor of the Caladrians. So he's the husband of that woman that we met before. So he'll never forget the day of the battle. The day we learned that the old men who claimed that they had the right to rule us were doddering incompetence. It was with the vanguard. Neritzes apparently knew that the Batanians had planned an ambush. Kuzite scouts had told him, but he never bothered to inform anyone. And they basically got ambushed. That's great. So too many arrows, they basically got slaughtered. And then... A Batanian flaxmen came in screaming out of the trees and they couldn't shoot him down because they didn't have any archers. That's really stupid. <laughs> so he ran, okay. So he ran and hid in the woods for the night and listened in on the barbarians. So he basically promised his uh, comrades that no soldier would be led into the battle by another emperor that knows little of war. So I'm guessing he took over as the emperor. Okay, that's a tiny bit of information though. So that's two out of ten that we've talked to. Now let's go see what we can sell this for. So grain doesn't sell for much and tools sell for even less. <laughs> oh crap. I think we just screwed ourselves out of money. Let's uh, quickly head over to Poros and hope we get a better deal. Because we're in a very bad position right now. And we couldn't pay the wages again. Are they paid daily? 
I think they might be paid daily. That's not good. Okay, at least grain's selling for more. So we sell off the grain. We gather back nearly 700. And what can we sell at Zeonica just to make back that money? So cheese can sell at Zeonica. So we're paying 40 for the cheese. That's a bit much. But apparently we can sell it for 48. So we'll pay 40 for the cheese. Head back quickly. And then we should be able to, that's a lot of bandits. We should be able to recoup our losses for the most part. Yes, the cheese sells for heaps more. But we still don't get a huge profit because of the uh, the numbers. Grapes sell at Poros for 27. If we buy 31 of those, we should be good. So our sales aren't doing too great. Kinda sucks. So we're getting 748 and we paid way too much for the tools. So I think we should head off and see if we can find somewhere to actually sell those tools off. So let's head up to my Quran and see if we can sell them there. Because we really need to get rid of these things. Up 12 looters. We'll take them down. Uh, don't get involved. They're already fighting someone. So tools are selling for even less. Rain's selling for more, but I need the grain. Clay is apparently selling in Farchek for 40. If I buy all of this, or most of it anyway, we should be able to go to wherever Farchek is and make a good profit. So this is 689. Where is Varcheg? So we may have made a mistake here, because Varcheg's all the way up there. Let's go to Saniopia and see what we can do there. We'll slowly make our way up to Varcheg. Either way, it's really not looking good this time. <laughs> So we've made a profit for tools now. So this was actually a really good place to go for the tools, Sanio PR. So now we can sell off all of these. And it will pretty much go down to where we bought it for, so that's alright. But we make a good profit off the top. So that's 2k in profit pretty much. The clay does not sell for good. Uh, we've got other stuff. So dates would sell really good here. And beer would sell at Zeonica for a really good profit. But I think we should head on north and get to Archag to sell off this clay. So let's go up to Epicritea as a middle town on the way. Some of the map design here looks quite stunning with the mountain ranges. It's pretty cool. So much better than the old games. So we're at Epic Terra. Let's look at the trades. Clay is still not selling for much. And beer sells here for quite a bit. If I'd bought beer at the other place, I could have done quite a good bit of profit here. And tools are selling for ridiculously low here as well. <laughs> we'll just buy our tools back. So we'll buy tools for 55. And keep heading up. Let's take on these looters on the way. Just for the sake of it. Our speed far outmatches them. Okay, I'll set my way up and keep the archers back here because they seem to be running towards us. So you guys can stay there and the archers can take care of them. Okay, so when you're in movement, you can't actually uh, throw your weapons. That's annoying. Okay, I'm missing because they're all in the way. Either way, it's a slaughter. We've got two upgrades though, that's good. So we've got looters that we've picked up, another Imperial recruit, and chuck another archer. Imperial infantrymen. What do they turn into? Veteran infantrymen or Imperial. An evilation. I'm not sure what that is. It might be a horse or something. 
It's probably a horseman. And just junk for items. That's useless. But now we can see Varchag. So let's head up there. And it also looks like this place got raided by one of the other factions. I can't wait to start doing raiding again. Oh, so it looks like Varchag's being besieged, which screws me over. So there's a camp of 507 people against however many is inside Varchag, which I can't see. Oh no, it's 105 people in Varchag, so they are going to lose, I think. So let's go to Omor and hopefully we can actually get some sales there. <laughs> Well, that's been a very bad turn of events. Oh, Olek. We need to talk to Olek. Don't get killed. <laughs> okay, so here's Olek of the Kulurving. Ancient lineage of Sturgeons. So he is the Lord of Omor, which is where I was about to go. So his father won against the Emperor, and some person called Regenvad stole the, uh, the valor of the battle, I guess. So his father led them into battle, Blah blah blah, they fought, Imperials lost, as we know from the other person. They had to go up ladders, uh, so it was a siege. So there was a banner that was taken from Neretez, and his father took it, but the other guy tried to claim it. And so his father broke it over his knee and threw it at him. Okay, well, that was worthless information, but it did uh, push our quest forward, so that's good. Let us continue back to Omor. Oh, there's another person to talk to, and another one. Okay, so what does he know about the battle? This madness, greatest player struck against the Empire, and they squandered it squabbling over that flag. So basically, Ragnvad really tried to take over the, uh, the honor of the battle, and tried to attack the other guy's father. So that's why he broke it. And so it's just a bunch of people fighting over the, the valor of the battle. So this is generally a lot of wasted information. Okay, let's try and catch this other guy before he disappears. Because we can get that quest down pretty quick if this keeps happening. So what does this guy know about the battle? The day his father died. So the Batanians pledged to support them in the battle. And they didn't help. So the Batanians were the ones that killed the, uh, the Emperor's... Or the Emperor, pretty much. So these guys did the siege while the other guys ambushed the Emperor on the way to the siege. So it's just like a load of boring stuff. All these people fighting over the honor and who gets what, etc. I guess it makes sense for a Nordic people. Vikings always seem to fight over who's better person, etc. So we can sell off these shirts. Play will sell for a profit, not a huge profit, but a profit. And the tools, they would be a profit, but not a big enough profit. The pottery, on the other hand, is a really good deal. So let's buy out all the pottery. What else can we buy out? Beer is also cheap here. So I think we'll buy a bunch of beer. Unfortunately, we can't afford too much, so we'll buy 10 cases of beer. And send off. I've gained a level. And we've got another Imperial recruit leveled up. We've got five nobles to talk to, and let's check our character. So we've got one more focus tree point. I think we'll chuck it into trade. Again. So let's head off and find a new area to go to. We'll head back over here. And then make our way back down and see if we can make some profits on the way back to Poros. So the pottery is already selling for double, so we'll sell that off. Beer is selling for a profit, we'll sell that off. And we'll get some more grain because we need food. Uh, let's make it 20. Even round number. And let's head off. Back to... Uh, we'll, we'll go rotate. Rotate. Just to make it a bit different.
Also, apparently we've upgraded riding, so we'll take the extra hit point for horses. Go to trade. Bulls are selling for crap all, and the grain selling for crap all. Let's see if we can get any cheap prices around here. So salt is apparently going for a good price, so we'll go and buy that. See what we can do. Apparently it only sells for fifty five, so it looks like it tells you when it stops making a profit. Or at least a good profit anyway. So we'll buy that much. So that's selling for 49 and let's head on our way. Down to Jamaris. So salt is a terrible sale here. What else is cheap? So linen's cheap here as well. So we'll buy out their linen and hopefully make a profit by the end of all of this. Already back to Zionica, and then we're off to Porus. So the tools sell for a bit better here, but not good enough. And hopefully we can make one last trade before we get to Poros and sell for a good profit. Unfortunately it looks like there's no good deals, so... Let's finish it up at Poros. And it looks like we've got shafted except for the linen. The linen's selling for a huge amount. We'll sell that off. Salt is a lot less than expected and the tools are still selling for crapple. So far we've made a loss over this time. I don't think we've actually gained anything. However, that is a realized loss, not a unrealized profit. Because we still have all this to sell and that's probably worth like another two grand the three grand so we're actually doing all right but hopefully we can uh, continue to increase so i'll probably trade for a bit and then get back into it when we actually start doing some interesting stuff